I was born in, uh, in eastern Kentucky in, in Metro County in one of the poorest areas of the county. Yes, sir. And uh, I was born right in the middle of the Depression. When the Depression was over, they forgot to notify our family that it was over. <laughs> so we never had very much of this world's goods, but we had a mother that had been a Christian since she was 16 years old. Amen, brother. And she taught us about the Lord from Amen. as long as I can remember. We used to sit around the old fireplace in the winter, and one of the kids would pick an old guitar, and we would sing old gospel songs. In the summer, we got on the porch and sang. We knew that mom's favorite song was Amazing Grace. Oh, yes. So we wouldn't sing that for a while. We would sing until we was getting kind of tired, and then we would sing Amazing Grace because we knew that usually when mom heard Amazing Grace, she'd come out of there shout. Amen. That's right. And I'm telling you, sometimes she would shout for a half an hour. Amen. And after she got through shouting down on her knees, she would go. And she would pray sometimes for another half hour. Amen. Pray for her children, for her neighbors. She, just, she loved people. Yeah. And she was concerned about men and women's souls. If you went to visit, Mom, you never talked about people. You talked about the Lord. Amen. That was her favorite subject. Amen. When I was 11 years old, we moved from Kentucky and moved to Ohio. And I've lived in Ohio ever since. And then when I was 22... Went to a little church one Sunday evening and God had been dealing with my heart. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. God. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. While the preacher was still preaching, I couldn't wait no longer. I was afraid that I would lose that urge and that unction to go to uh, to the altar. And I got up right in the middle of his sermon. Amen. And got the altar, got on my knees, and I said, yes. Lord, I'm I've sinned against you, and I'm sorry. I want you to forgive me. Boy, he Amen. did just that. Turned my life completely around. Yes, Barb and I started singing in that little church, and people started inviting us to other places, and they, some of the people there were from Kentucky and some from West Virginia and different places. They would take us home with them on a weekend and ask us to sing at their home church. That's how we... Got started singing in Kentucky and West Virginia and Virginia and different places. Amen. And one of the old songs that came back to my mind was the old song about the two coats. We sang that around the old fireplace down in Kentucky. And I, th this old coat, I, he, he laughs about it being, I've grown a little bit, but, uh, but I used to feed the hogs in that coat. That song reminds me of the prodigal son. The Bible said the prodigal son took all his inheritance to a far country and he wasted yes. everything that he had. Yes, he did. When his money was all gone, his friends all left him and things got so bad, they took a job feeding hogs in the hog pen. And the Bible said that he was in such shape that he desired to eat the husk from the corn that he fed those hogs and yet nobody gave to him. Yes, sir. One day he got to looking around. He saw what a mess he had made of his life. He said, why, the hard servants have it better back home. And I've got it down here. He said, I'm going to go back home. Amen. I'm not going to ask to be a son no more. Just ask if I can be a servant. He headed toward home. And that old father, I think, had been watching for him all those years. Because the Bible That's said right. he saw him coming from afar off. Amen. And he ran to meet him. Yes, sir. Yeah put their arms around one another and began to rejoice. Yes. That old father told a servant, bring a ring and put on his hand. That's right. Yes. Put shoes on his feet. Amen. Bring the best robe we've got and put on him. Then I want you to go kill the fatted calf. Yes. Because we're going to celebrate tonight. Amen. My son was lost and now he's found. Yes. Amen. And the Bible said he was even dead and now he's alive. He's yes. come home. Here's the old song, Two Cups. Amen. Thank you. It's the memory of Cody. Two coats were before me in the new. I could have either, so what must I do?